ranging from best for squats, best for deadlifts, best for CrossFit, best for the price, and so much more will break into my top pick to the Metcon 4. It's an older model, it's often on sale, and it is a pretty consistent shoe. When it What's going on guys? This is Jake Bowley with Barbend.com, and today we're gonna be doing a best cross trainer roundup, so things best cross trainer for women. Now obviously, I'm not a lady, so we had some of our women athlete correspondents give us feedback on which model. All right, the best cross trainer for the money. Now let's note that the way I scaled this was on the overall for men. Has to go to the Reebok CrossFit Nano 9 solely because this is a slightly wider model, so they like best. And our top pick goes to the Innovate F-Lite 235 V3. This model is a shoe's performance and the price that they're priced at now. I don't really care about the super cost efficient model that can't really support a lot of weight. I care about the model that can support weight, but is also pretty cost efficient. And for that reason, I'm giving up, if you do have a slightly wider foot and you want stability and versatility, the Nano 9 is a good bet. The bend incredibly form-fitting to the foot. It's incredibly versatile with the fascia band throughout the foot, so it feels very comfortable to this video. Now, without further ado, let's dive in to our first section. All right, the best cross trainer, but most importantly, the last of this model is made to be a little bit slimmer, which is a lot more accommodating for most women. It comes to just performance in the gym and supporting weight. Now, my second pick is gonna be the Nano 8. It's an older model, it's usually on sale, and you could usually find a really good deal on these, and they perform really well in the gym. There are more cost-conscious models out there, but when it comes to just pure performance and how they excel, I think these are the two better bets because they're gonna be on sale, they're older models, and you could usually find a really great deal on them. All right, so when it comes to the best cross trainer for CrossFit or more functional fitness workouts, in reality, I think every shoe up here that is a cross trainer can work to support your needs. Every shoe has subtle construction nuances that'll make it slightly better for certain activities. However, let's see what the top two are in my opinion. The number one pick is gonna go to the Reebok Nano 9. I like this model because they made the last slightly slimmer so the toe box is still wide enough to accommodate toe splay, but it does form fit a little bit better if you have a slightly more narrow foot. I love the split outsole and how supportive it is. And I actually like that they put this dual density foam up here because it gives it a little bit of more of an accommodating feel for lighter runs and jumps. Our second pick goes to the Noble Trainer. I think this is a very consistent shoe and the super fabric outer construction is durable. So if you want consistency, Noble Trainer is a good pick. Now again, it is worth noting that I think every one of these shoes up here can work for cross training or more CrossFit workouts. However, it really comes down to your individual needs and how you train the most with your model. All right, the best cross trainer for your more agility focused workout. So you're performing, let's say speed ladders, you're doing a little bit more of like a plyometric based workout. My top pick, it needs to go to the Under Armour Hover Rise. This shoe is incredibly accommodating for a lot of different activities, feels very light on the foot, and it's very reactive to different jumps and agility movements. My second pick is the Innovate F-Lite 235 V3. Now we mentioned this early in the video, but this is an incredibly form-fitting shoe. The fascia band on the outsole makes it incredibly comfortable and it kind of almost gives off a barefoot feeling. So if you like to really grip the ground and almost have like nothing on your foot when doing agility workouts, the Innovate model is a good second bet. All right, so the best cross trainer for stability is gonna have to be the Nike Metcon 5. The outsole is incredibly solid, and there's a strong TPU layer back here in the heel, so if you're trying to move big weight, the Metcon 5 can support it. Our second pick and runner up is the Noble Trainer. The outsole is consistent, the midsole itself is consistent, and I really like how this shoe supports weight and gives you a nice, firm, level, planted foot when moving any form of squat, deadlift, power clean, you name it. Now, it is worth knowing that the High Top Noble serves the same purpose when it comes to stability, and also the Metcon 4 XD is a close runner up on the Metcon 5 when it comes to just being similar in nature with how stable they are. So my top two picks for stability, Nike Metcon 5 and Noble Trainer. All right, the best cross trainer for jumping. Note that this is gonna be more of your, like your focused workouts, like classes that you're gonna be doing a lot of bounding or a lot of jumping in. My favorite pick is the Mizuno TC01, solely because it's incredibly comfortable and accommodating, especially for jumping workouts. It has COB technology, which is this firm layer of like beads almost, or air clusters in between the outsole and the insole right here. So you can really get a good grip on the ground when it comes to balance. My second pick for jumping is the Under Armour Hover Rise. And similar to how this performs performance and agility. It's very accommodating and reactive to different movements. And I think it's a great pick with jumping because it's just overall comfortable with absorbing landings. So my top two picks for jumping, once again, are the Mizuno TCO one and the Under Armour Hover Rise. 
All right, the best cross trainer for squats has to be the Nike Metcon 5. Now, that probably doesn't come as a huge surprise since it was our best pick for stability, the strong TPU heel, the firm outsole. I think this is a great model for supporting weight, especially in the back squat. Our second pick for squats is the Reebok Nano 8. This model is stable, has a firm four millimeter heel to toe drop, a firm outsole, and the toe box is made to be slightly wider. So if you really like to splay those toes and grip the ground in your squats, the Nano 8 is is a good bet. And it's also great because this model's been out for a longer time period. If you're looking for a budget cross trainer shoe for squats, the Nano 8 is a good bet. Best cross trainer for deadlifts. Now note that you can deadlift in all these cross trainers. However, this is for the individual that wants that more like synonymous true deadlift shoe with their cross trainer. So my top pick has to be the Noble High Top Trainer. I love deadlifting in a high top converse and this gives me that feel but also gives me that slight edge of versatility with its overall construction and design. My second pick for deadlifts has to be the Nike Metcon 5 and that's again solely because it's so stable and it is designed slightly wider than the Metcon 4, so you can splay those toes a little bit better in this shoe. The best cross trainer for more lighter runs, so three miles and below, or your more class-focused workouts that are including more cardio movements. My top pick goes to the Under Armour Hover Rise. Again, accommodating for multiple activities, very reactive and very lightweight. It feels very comfortable on your foot for longer periods of time, especially when doing more cardio-based movements. My second pick for lighter runs and more cardio-based movements, so like classes, has to be the Innovate F-Lite 235 V3. Now, this is a very different model than the Under Armour Hover Rise. And I wanted to provide a little bit of a different context for this model for somebody who likes having that more barefoot feel and being really low to the ground. This is not gonna be the most comfortable in longer runs. However, if you like having that more like athletic fitting shoe, almost that feels like a cleat that's very tight to the foot, I think this is a good bet and it's very accommodating and it allows you to really grip that floor in any form of cardio-based movement. The best cross trainer for wide or more flat feet has to be the Reebok CrossFit Nano 8. This shoe's last is the widest up here of all these cross trainers, and I think that it's super accommodating for wider or more flat feet. My second pick is the Reebok CrossFit Nano 9, and that probably doesn't come as a huge surprise because Nano, in my opinion, make the wider last shoes compared to the other models up here. So if you have a wider or more flat foot, I would highly recommend looking into the Nano line. It'll probably accommodate your needs a little bit better than some of the other ones up here. That wraps up our best cross training roundup. There are a lot of great shoes that didn't make our list. Hopefully this video helped direct you in some way or another to help you find your best shoe for your needs. 